Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, just quick check. Mic sounds good, I'm assuming. I, I messed around with things again and then reverted it back because I didn't like the changes. So just making sure it sounds the same as it did yesterday. It, it should. I think I reverted it to the same settings. So just got to make sure. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hey, Bo Fishing. Hey, CN. Hey, Bo. Uh, Spooky Ben. Braxton, AE, um, Rosel Rosalie, uh, Brady, Revive, Hunting with Hank Hurdlum, Caleb, Tayden, how's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Hey, Luke, how's it going, man? Hey, Don, how's it going? Hey, Andrew. Hey, Vine. Uh, yeah, Caleb, I remember you. Got your first great one, Red Deer, at 650 kills. That is pretty lucky, man. Very lucky. Just got my first diamond. Whitetail's my 174th kill in the Great One grind. Nice, K-Dub. That's awesome. Yay. At this point, we're at a diamond every 10 kills, pretty much. That's how crazy we've got the uh, herd management. How long has it took me to set up this herd management? Uh, Over 12 or 13,000 kills. About 13,000 kills in total to get the herd management to the point it's at now. So it was definitely not a quick thing. <laughs> it definitely took a while. I'd say it was probably like maybe three or 4,000 kills ago where we started getting 10 or a diamond every 10 kills. Uh, at the current grind, actually, let me find it. So our current grind is 430 stags with 33 diamonds and 6 trolls. So that is approximately a level 9 every 10 to 12 kills. Somewhere in that range. Uh, CG, thank you for the 18 months, dude. That is crazy. 18 months as a member. That, that's a long time, man. That is a long time. Thank you, Braxton. I'm glad you enjoy them. Hey, Kylie. Hey, Chad. What level is Diamond Bison? Uh, level 5 would be the ones that can make Diamond for the Bison. What great one's the easiest to grind? Uh, definitely the Tiawaroa Red Deer great one. The Tiawaroa is just set up so well for great one grinding that uh, it makes it much easier than the other maps and the other species as well. Hey, Toxicity. Uh, yeah, Matthew, I do. Nice, Caleb. That's pretty lucky. Very lucky for sure. How many diamonds do I think I've got? Uh, well, I've been keeping track of the uh, diamond red deer. I've got 755 diamond red deer in 19,430 kills. How do you zone swap? Is there a guide? Um, I talk about it in my herd management guide, actually. Um, well, the best tip that I can give you if you're trying to get a diamond, uh, Andrew, is if you're playing on your single player map and you're looking for diamonds in general, just shoot the bigger animals. So for like a, let, let's say it's a white tail deer, just shoot the level twos and threes. Don't shoot the level ones. Uh, for a red deer, you would only shoot the level fives and above and don't shoot the fours or below. And eventually, as long as you never shoot like those lower level animals, um, you'll start getting more and more of the low level ones on your map. And that will force 
the remaining ones to respawn as larger animals, which will give you a better chance at a diamond. So just shoot the larger animals. Like if it's a, let's say a Rocky Mountain Elk, only shoot the fours, fives, and threes. And that should give you better odds at getting a diamond. How can you get more storage? Um, let's see. The only way that you can get more storage is by going into the skills and buying pack mule. It increases your carry capacity by 15%. You could use backpacks, but it's not worth it as it does increase the spook range of animals. So wouldn't recommend that. But uh, yeah, pack mule is a great alternative. Uh, Jaden, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing good. Hey, Scarecrow, love the vids. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Is it okay if you shot one level nine red deer and then stack? Um, so the only purpose of stacking really is to just force more small animals to spawn on your map so that the remaining ones have a higher chance of spawning back as uh, diamonds. So that you can you can do stacking at literally any time, but just re remember that like the only purpose of it is to force more smaller ones to spawn. Uh, no, Marty, stacking will not help you with great ones. Like I was saying, it just forces more small small ones to spawn on your map because it raises the average score of the animals on your map. Oh, we probably should have shot these first. Rip. Alright, let's see. We got three of them we can take down. Oh, couldn't shoot for some reason. Thank you, Call of the Wild. I didn't want to get that one after all. Never mind, we got it. Nice. Zevin, thank you for the four months, dude. Really appreciate that. That is crazy, man. Four months already. Doesn't seem like it's been four months. That's wild. You're at 1,490 kills, five piebald, five melanistic, one albino, one great one, 39 diamonds using herd management. Not bad, Kingston. That's pretty good. That's not bad for only being 1,500 kills in. Sounds like you're getting a pretty decent ratio of diamonds early on. What's my favorite moment on Call of the Wild? Um, I don't know. That's really difficult to choose a moment that's my favorite. There's been so many good ones. I guess of like a recent moment... Probably that albino lion from today cuz like that was probably the rarest multiplayer trophy. I've ever found Uh, Don thank you so much for becoming a member really appreciate it Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon all the awesome emotes ability to use humans access private discord channels Once you link discord to YouTube and access to my scrap content on the channel really appreciate it Sorry, my red deer grind 922-22 started stacking the crow. I have four great ones in one month. That's pretty crazy, Eric. That is pretty crazy. I haven't seen too much of an increase in great ones since I started doing herd management, unfortunately, but had like everything else show up more abundantly. I think that's all of the ones that we're going to be able to get. Thank you, Don. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content. Hey, duck. Um, unfortunately, there's not really too much more I can help you with there, Clay. Um, as long as you're getting the consistent diamond spawns, then you're doing everything right.
Tokyo, thank you for the 10 months, man. That's crazy. 10 months. You're getting really close to the year. Getting really close to that one year badge. You're at 1,500 kills, 70 diamonds, 13 rares, and one great one. That is really good. 70 diamonds after 1,500 kills. That is pretty good. Because, like, early on in the herd management, it's difficult to get the crazy numbers of diamonds. You'll definitely see more than if you were just shooting everything, but... 70 is pretty good for 1,500 kills. That is not bad at all. Oh, yeah, definitely, Ben. Doesn't it fail to, like, bring up a list of people that you can select? I know on PC it brings up a, a list of people whose names will start with whatever letters you put in. But I don't think it does that on mobile, does it? Not seeing anything of this like right now. I don't really add anybody, uh, Braxton, because if I add one person, then everybody's going to be asking for me to add them, and I can't just add everybody. All right, later, Andrew. Thank you for dropping in. Oh, you're on both, Ben? Gotcha. Nothing here. Let's check this river zone. Nice bow. Yeah, it's a really fun grind. Definitely a fun one. Nothing here either. You know, it's been a bit since we've gone down this direction. We should probably check to see if any of our stags ended up over here. Very high chance they could have. Thank you, Braxton. Hopefully we will. Hey, Duxton. Thank you, Duck. Appreciate it, man. We actually hit 69k yesterday. And you know what's hilarious? Literally the second we hit 69k, 50 subs dropped because YouTube had a, uh, like a, a statistics type of issue where every once in a while YouTube will randomly lose a bit of data for like a specific time period. And until they get it back that any, um, subs from that time period will not show up. So the second we hit 90 or 69k, it dropped 50. And so we were back to 68k. The timing was perfect. <laughs> yeah, good old YouTube. Gotta love it. What's my favorite soda? Ooh, there's a lot of them that I like. I would say probably some of my favorites is uh, the Dr. Pepper Cream Soda is amazing. Um... The Zevia Cherry Colas, those are really good. Uh, let's see, what else? There's these, uh, there's these, like, special... They're like a special edition type thing. I, they just recently came out with them. It's like the Soda Shop variations of the... Like, Cherry Pepsi. It's like the Soda Shop Cherry Pepsi or whatever. It tastes way more, like strong flavored than like a normal cherry Pepsi. It's like super strong cherry flavor and I love it. It really does, CJ. Like, it, it's so good. Like, I never knew that I needed that, but then Dr. Pepper Cream Soda came along and it's like, wow, this is just phenomenal. It's like two of the best sodas ever combined into one. Just fantastic.
pretty much toxicity. What's my favorite candy bar? Oh, that's easy. Butterfinger. Butterfingers are fantastic. Pretty much anything that involves peanut butter I'm down for. Peanut butter is delicious. And Reese's Fast Breaks are also one of the best candy bars in my opinion. Reese's Fast Break is delicious. I don't really eat candy bars too often anymore though. Oh yeah, Twix are pretty good as well. Kit Kats are great as well. They are fantastic. Nah, Butterfingers are great. If you enjoy peanut butter, Butterfingers, Fast Breaks, any Reese's product really. And then like the uh, the peanut butter Twix. Those are like some of the best. Yeah, I noticed Johnny, like a lot of stuff's really going up in price. Unfortunately. I like them, Kingston. Ooh, that does sound good, Don. My mom always made some peanut butter chocolate fudge growing up, and it was some of my favorite, like, uh, holiday treats. So good. Peanut butter fudge is quite delicious. Well, hello there. Smokable stag, I see. Smokable stags for me. Uh, probably not going to claim it, though. That's quite the walk. Quite the walk that I do not feel like wasting time on at the moment. What grind am I doing the most? Reindeer, elk, or red deer? Currently red deer. I've stopped doing the reindeer grind because of the elk grind. Have I ever had red deer bacon? I haven't, but that sounds insane. That sounds way too good. Yeah, Scott, we made it back to 69k. We're back up. On the road to 75, hopefully by the end of the year. I got a feeling we'll hit it. I, I got I got a good good feeling that we're gonna hit 75k. Maybe even more, provided the December map is really good. If this next map for Call of the Wild is really good, we very well could surpass 75k before the end of the year. It all depends on how good the um, the map is and how much it brings people back to the game. Because a, a very large factor in how well a channel does, in especially the hunting game genre, A lot of us rely on good updates from the games themselves. Good updates drive lots of new players to the game, which in turn draws players to the channels that stream and record the games. So if we're gonna if we're gonna break 75k by the end of the year, we gotta hope for a good map. We gotta hope that EW releases a really good map that everybody loves. Please give us Africa 2.0 or Australia. Or a Texas game ranch with a bunch of exotic species. Those three maps would bring so many people back to Call of the Wild. And then if they added something else on top of it, like maybe a new true rack species for Verhonga Savannah. Oh, oh guys, I got an idea. What if they do Africa 2.0, but they also do Cape Buffalo true racks with Africa 2.0? That would be a massive update. Like, people would be so happy with that update. Including myself. That would be so good. Yeah, if we don't get Africa 2.0, then I don't even know what's going on. It's been requested for so long. Everybody wants it. It would do so well for the game and for all the players. To me, it seems like a no-brainer. Like, they gotta do it. We've got Revon Thule, which uh, filled the, the gap in the game for Waterfowl and Upland Birds. 
and a small game as well. Now we just need something to introduce a bunch of like dangerous game. And that's a floater. Well, we're not going to get that one then. Freaking floaters, man. Yeah, Johnny. And uh, when when was that confirmed, uh, Workus? Because there's not been any confirmation. Curious why he said that, because there, there hasn't been any confirmation of what it is or isn't. And even if uh, Jaxie Beard or somebody had said that it probably wouldn't be, they've said that almost every time that it's actually been the thing they're adding. Like, there's been so many times where they've said that it's not something, and then they end up doing that a few months later. Dogs were a good example. They, they said that dogs probably wouldn't come to the game for a long time. Then, boom, we got dogs a few months later. Oh my gosh, four of them here, really? Whew. Um, five of them. Bro! Okay, well. <laughs> Found where a bunch of them went. Oh gosh, what are we gonna what are we gonna do here? We're pretty close, so they're gonna spook faster from the shots than normal. Got three of them. Okay, should die. We got four of the five. Good enough. Uh, maybe BP. I'll have to talk to Kill Clinton and Brobra and see if they're down to play. We shall have to see if they're down to play. Ah, come on, no. Well, was hoping that we would be able to get that. Thank you, Jed. I appreciate that. I'm glad you like it. Favorite MLB team. I don't actually watch baseball. Never did. Even back when I watched sports, baseball was not one of the ones I was really interested in. Only really ever watched uh, football. And I haven't watched it in, like, eight years? Yep, the floaters as always, guys. It's always the floaters. You should do Antarctica map with polar bears and seals. Oh, maybe. Oh, really, Ben? Well, how did he how did he say it? Did he say it with that kind of like I cannot confirm nor deny type of uh, voice or or what? Because I still wouldn't rule it out, even if it was said on stream. Because like I said, they've said no many times because it was what they were doing. There's been many times where they only said no to get people to kind of get off the trail of it. Gotcha, Ben. Okay, so, yeah. I'd have to go see it myself because uh, depending on how he said it, I can probably tell you if it if it is a hundred percent no or if it's just like a possibly a possibly type of thing. Because uh, the, the the way that he says things sometimes basically lets you know if it is or isn't. Kind of like with the um, the last update, where he kept saying like I cannot confirm nor deny if there's a new great one. And then there ended up being a, a new great one.
trying to start a herd management whitetail grind. What male should I avoid shooting? Uh, just shoot the twos and threes and leave the ones. With whitetail, you only leave the level ones. Uh, yeah, Chad, I do. Definitely, Zevin. Definitely. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they mentioned that there would be anything big for it. I don't remember. I guess it's possible. Hold on, guys. I gotta check my mic settings. It's, it feels like it's peaking higher than normal. I think so, at least. Let me, let me just double check. Oh, it looks like it should be good. I'm gonna try something, though. I'm gonna lower the gain slightly. Alright, let's see. This is it... Maybe a little more. Let's see here. It looks like it is good. I want to say that's good right there. I think that's that, that that might actually sound better. Does that sound clearer to you guys with a little li little bit less gain on it? Actually, I think if I do it on the microphone and not OBS, it'll sound even better. Let me do it on here. So instead of 19.5, let's drop it to 18 decibel gain. All right, how does that sound? Guys, it's a little bit clearer while still not being too quiet. Because that's the big thing. I just don't want it to be too quiet. And also, let's turn down the actual game and music volume by a tiny bit. I suppose in most cases, I'm going to be more critical of my audio than you guys will, but I like to I, li I like to make sure that it's sounding great. But uh, like as the person that is doing all the editing for my videos, like I notice so many things that I'm sure most people don't even notice. Uh, Kenneth, thank you for becoming a member or actually renewing your membership, it looks like. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Maybe, Johnny. Maybe. I mean, to be honest, I would not mind a Texas map. I really hope that if they do another America map, I just want it to be Texas. Just give us a Texas map, and then they could be able to actually put some African species on there as well. When you think about it, Texas really would be like a good compromise for the people that want a Texas map and the people that want an Africa or an Australia map because you could have species from Africa and Australia on a Texas map. So I think if they do another NA map, that's got to be the route they go. Yeah, that too, Johnny. That was another one I was kind of thinking about is like they could do Canada. A lot of species that people have been requesting that could be on a Canadian map. That would give us an opportunity for some more blacktail deer as well. A lot of people want another map for blacktail, including myself, so I could see that maybe being uh, something they do. Oh my gosh, what if? Hear me out. Canadian map with a blacktail deer, great one added. I think that could be uh, pretty cool. I think that would be pretty awesome. Because non-typical blacktail deer look stunning. They look incredibly cool.
Canadian map with Casey as the voice actor. Yes, please. I, I want to be greeted by Casey every time I enter the map. Well, it should die eventually. I hope. Well, I mean, that's personal opinion, Joni. I think Blacktail would be cool. Blacktail's my number one most wanted great one. Because the current Blacktail in the game just do not do justice for, like, how good Blacktail can be. The current True Rex for the diamonds and the big golds do not look as good as they could. And a great one would kind of alleviate the problems with the Blacktail currently and make it so there's a good looking Blacktail to grind for. I think they badly need a, a better looking Blacktail Deer Rack to grind for. Well, it's, it's, it's not about the size of them, Chad, because they're actually realistic. Um, Blacktail really don't get much bigger than the, uh, the current diamonds. At least a typical Blacktail wouldn't get much bigger. It, it's not the size of the Blacktail deer that I'm worried about. It's the shape of the antlers. Um, the tines grow very strangely on the, uh, the current Blacktail deer. They grow off in directions that I've never seen a Blacktail's antlers grow in. So yeah, I'd just like to see, uh, I'd like to see revamps to some of the black tail deer and a great one get added for them. Well, he's down. So it looks like we're hitting a little bit of a dead streak where we're not getting many diamonds. That's unfortunate. Interesting uh, toxicity. They don't really look like whitetail around here. The blacktail here in Oregon look, uh... Quite different from whitetail. In fact, they're a subspecies of mule deer, so they look pretty much like smaller mule deer. But they, they will be different from place to place. Yeah, exactly, Cameron. Which is, uh, why I've been saying, like, the, uh, the white tail cur- or not white tail, the black tail deer in Call of the Wild currently, they're the correct size. They're the correct size, they shouldn't make them any bigger for the, the diamonds and stuff like that. They just need to change the shapes of the antlers, increase the tine length on some of the racks and stuff like that. Just kind of touch up the existing ones and they'd be great. Oh yeah, definitely cowboy. There's definitely some places that they can't do because it's illegal to hunt there in real life. And EW is pretty big on like following what is actually huntable in those areas in real life. Same with like uh, endangered species. They don't really add too many endangered species. Because, uh, it could be controversial, I guess. I mean, I've never seen it that way. I mean, it's a game. Just put in the stuff that people want to see. But at the end of the day, it's their game. So, I get it. Nice, Sonaldo. That's awesome. I've got three of them now. I got two of them from this grind, and then I had one from, like, a year ago. 
They are so cool looking. Oh yeah, non-typical uh, pronghorn look crazy. They do look pretty wild. Non-typical roe deer look amazing too. Could you guys imagine a non-typical great one roe deer? Great one roe deer would actually be pretty wild looking. Gold ones? Uh, yeah, two of them are gold, I believe. At least one of them is, because one of them was a nice level four. And then the other was a three, and then another one was a two. I have a two, three, and four for the albinos. A great one fish. That'd be interesting. Maybe the angler could uh, add something like that. Um, it can, Nate. Yeah. Uh, stacking diamonds just causes more small ones to spawn quicker. So if you're trying to speed up the great one process, or not great one, but the herd management process, then yeah, uh, stacking will force the smaller ones to spawn in quicker. At least in most cases. Yeah, we're starting to see a little slowdown in- oh, there it is. I was gonna say, <laughs> we're seeing a slowdown in the amount of diamonds, and then of course one shows up. How's it going, buddy? And a really wonky mythical. There's our first diamond of the day. Definitely starting off slower than we have been recently. Definitely a little slower start to the day. Um, I exit the reserve to kind of get the animals back to their zones. Now, uh, there's actually a couple reasons. Um, so there's definitely a few situations where I don't claim one of the animals or I forget to claim one of them. And so leaving the map will cause those to disappear and respawn. However, it also pushes all of the animals back to their zones that you've spooked. So you get it, you leave the reserve so that all of the spooked animals uh, get unspooked and come back to their zone. That way you can do another run through without having to reset the time. My gosh, there! why is there so many over there? And by the way, uh, deleting this will not matter. Because, uh, that zone deletes anyway because it's single stags. They always end up coming back eventually. So we're not too worried about deleting that zone. Uh, both of them, McLaren. We're looking for either another great one or a melanistic diamond. Melanistic diamond is my all-time goal. Ooh, that's a good one. 267. That's a pretty good red deer. First diamond of the day. Can't complain, man. First diamond of the day. Thank you, Carlos. I'm glad you enjoy the content, dude. Welcome to the stream. The stacking rares work to spawn more? Uh, no it doesn't. There's no way to get more rares from what I've seen. Rares and great ones? In my experience, you can't force more to spawn. Uh, that's one we can take down. Sorry, buddy. And we're out of shots. Wonderful. I don't even know if he's going to die, to be honest. Yeah, me too, JN. That's how it's become with this grind. I've had uh, three troll supers. And then the three that actually did become super rares. So I had, I had the three diamond rares and then the three troll rares. And then I've only had four great ones. So it's been the same for me. More chances at super rares than great ones. I think that's just because of the increased uh, amount of level 9s. Uh, no, Kelton, that's not true. It doesn't actually do that. There's been a lot of, like, uh, theories and myths throughout the, uh, throughout the years about grinding. 
There's been some stuff that I used to believe as well with grinding that I no longer believe. Like, I used to think that wonky antlers meant the great one was close because I had a bunch of wonky antlers show up before one of my great one whitetail, but I think at this point that was clearly not the case. Over the years, we learned more stuff about grinding and learned that some of the stuff that we used to think turned out to not be true. Just part of uh, progressing through the grind and getting better and learning more about it. Oh yeah, Kelton. Yeah, there's been um there's been a few times where content creators have jumped on the idea of something without like researching it too much. I remember for a while there was a rumor going around that if you found a rare in multiplayer or something that that would be the next rare you find on your map. Which makes no sense. But I saw people talking about that for a while. I don't even know where it originated, but I remember seeing people tell me that and I'm like, no, that, that doesn't work like that. Well, not if you enjoy it, YT. If you enjoy it, it's never boring. And when you're looking for that great one and he finally pops up, it's all worth it. Regardless of how many thousands of red deer I have to shoot. You have 40 diamonds, 15 trolls, and 7 rares. Not too bad, Cobb. Hit fire, best fire. <laughs> Love it. He is still alive somehow. Wow, what a trooper. That is a trooper right there. He survived so many hits. Just a consistent pummeling of lead and he runs away like it's nothing. Just runs away like it's nothing, man. Oh, hit the hind. Rip. Any diamonds yet? Yeah, we got one diamond so far. Only one. As of now. I actually need to update my diamond count then. We haven't had any trolls this uh, stream, have we? I don't think so. I don't remember having any trolls, so I think we're good there. How many lions have I killed? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I, I don't keep track of lion kills. It's not something I grind often enough to really keep account. Let's try to get to this zone before it hits 1030. Yeah, BP, I love the 10 mil. Very fun handgun. Yeah, those ones are still there. Alright, in that case, uh, we might actually be able to main menu one more time. We might be able to go to the main menu once more. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? That accidental hind will turn into a great one, I bet. Knowing my luck, that's how it would be. She will have been the key the whole time. There's a troll. I'm doing good, Caitlin. Doing good. 
are doing a very nice, yes. Got him. Hey, Connor, how's it going, dude? Uh, the Wet Wombat, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate that. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Welcome, man. That's a great name? It is. That's a fantastic name. I was thinking the same thing. My first thought was, wow, that's a creative name. I love it. Hey, Dark Lord, how's it going? Uh, yeah, Chad, I live in Oregon. Hey, that one did not get hit vitally, it seems. Welcome back, Braxton. Let's see, we got one here. Let's go block him. Um, if you click on each of the perks and skills, it'll actually tell you what it's used for. It never gets old, man. Oh, wait. Oh, that shows the ones that I use. Oh, got you. Uh, no, I don't believe I have that set up anywhere. And primarily because I change my perks a decent bit. Depending on what the updates bring. Uh, maybe at some point I'll put out like an updated YouTube short or something like that. How do you stack Red Deers and is it worth it? So, what do you mean by stacking? Like, stacking low levels to force more diamond spawns, or stacking diamonds to force more smaller spawns? Because each of them has a different purpose. Oh, we gotta reload? Gosh, only 20 bullets. Sam, thank you for the three months, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hope your day's been going absolutely amazingly. Come on, Red Deer. Not gonna see the other ones, I don't think. Oh my gosh. So many smokable stags. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Love to see it. Turkey, thank you for the five months, dude. Welcome back. Hey. What a rude deer. He's not a red deer, he's a rude deer. And that one's an escape deer. Wow, we actually got two of those, okay. Yeah, we definitely do, Scott, definitely do. I'm gonna have to go pick some up now. Um, no clue how many kills you'll need for an albino on average. It, it'll be different for everybody. It, it sometimes takes me like three or four hundred kills to see a rare. For other people, it may take a hundred kills. Like, it, it, it varies a lot with rares. There are some of the more unpredictable things in the game. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum. Which, uh, speaking of it, we need more ammo. We're gonna be, uh, gonna be sitting here for a minute. Yeah, Chad, we basically, uh, flipped on it. I think for me, it was just like, the more I started enjoying it, the more energy I got whenever, whenever doing my recording and stuff. 
I feel like nowadays I just have more fun with it than I did when I first started. Because when I first started, I was still new to everything. I was trying to figure it out. Trying to, like, uh, figure out what I needed to do. And I think nowadays I just be myself a bit more. Yeah, Ian, we have built up quite the bank from uh, all this red deer hunting. Um, probably not, see, not until they, uh, add some more stuff to it. Like, uh, the, the new weapons only had a certain amount of, uh, lifespan for me. Sure, the new weapons are really cool, but until we get some new stuff, like, uh, animal-wise, it's gonna be something that we don't do super often. I'm just waiting for Way of the Hunter to add, like, rares and maybe a map or two. Then we'll be playing it a lot more than now. Yeah, we gotta keep going, guys. Gotta, gotta stock up so we don't have to buy it for a while. Just gonna drop 400k on ammo. Just get us back down to 14 mil. <laughs> Is there any way that I can spam this quicker? I think if I time it right, it'll buy quicker. I think this might be the most ammo I've ever bought in one sitting. Usually I stop at like 2,000 or less. We're over 3,000. <laughs> nice and nice. Yeah, for me it's just uh, with the lack of rarity for the five stars and the fact that there's nothing else to go for be five, be before five or besides uh, five stars. It just uh, keeps my interest levels down at the moment for Way of the Hunter. Like, I just need some more stuff to be able to work towards and make content with. Like, there's only so many five-star Mule Deer videos I can make before it just gets repetitive. <laughs> this is what I came for. <laughs> I know, right? You, got, you guys are here to watch me buy ammo. Totally. There we go. Do we have any ammo that's 540 credits? I want to even this out. <laughs> one for 530. Ah, what else? Do we have like a one? 220. Do we have any that cost 100, I wonder? Or 300? Come on. Something has to have a 40 as the second number. Come on. Yeah, There's just no way. We just need 540. Is there anything that costs 540? 440 there, but not 540. That'd be close, but not quite. I want to get, I, I got to do it. I got to get it even. We got to try to get it even. 5.30. Ah, so close. Is there anything else in the store that costs around what we need? Wow, I never realized like how uniform the pricing is on some of the stuff. Like I don't ever see a 40 at the end. There's just like, I see 5.30 up multiple times. But no, no 540. How, how, how am I going to even this out? It's going to bug me if we don't. Those are all too expensive. Ah. <laughs> well, there's no way we can do it. Unless we... How much would it cost to reset the time? 375. Nope, not going to do it. I have 440 then a 100, but there is no 100. That's the problem. There's no 100. Even 22 ammo costs 200. Oh well, it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal. It would have just been cool if we could have done that. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, hey there, buddy. 
It's a red deer. And he's over here. All right, just that one then. I don't know, Johnny, probably because it's uh, considered to be very similar to like a 243. Uh, Ghost Gaming, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Messed up a nine legendary red deer. That's unfortunate, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Easiest way to drop an animal? Uh, if you're trying to drop them on the spot, I would say you need to either hit double lung plus the vertebrae or a heart shot or a neck shot. Those are like the, the quickest ways to drop them and still get full score. What do I think is the rarest fur type for musk deer? Uh, let's see. Melanistic, probably. I think Mel is definitely the uh, rarest of the musk deer trophies. However, albino is pretty hard to find as well. What would I rather have as a new great one? Moose, roe deer, caribou, fallow deer, or blacktail? Uh, blacktail. For me, the list would go like this. Out of those ones that you just named, it would be blacktail deer, fallow deer, caribou, moose, and then roe deer. Got three over here. With our newly replenished ammo, thankfully. Hey, Sam, how's it going, dude? What's my favorite animal to uh, hunt in the game? Uh, 19,000 red deer. That's my favorite animal. All right, later, Mike. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Hey, random memer. What do I think the next great one will be? Either Fallow or Moose. Fallow or Moose are the most likely great ones for the next one. And the more I think, it, think about it, the more I feel like it's possible it's going to be a Fallow. Because it seems they've been going in, like, alternating maps. They started out with a latent great one being the white tail. Then they did a Hirschfelden great one, which was the red deer. Then another Leighton great one with the black bear. So it would make more sense for them to do a fallow deer because then we'd have three great ones on Leighton if they did a moose. If they did a moose, we would have three great ones on Leighton and only one on Hirschfelden. So the more I've heard a couple people talk about this and pose the question, the more I'm thinking it is possible it's a fallow deer next. But it's hard to say. Ah, uh, not quite, Ian. Not quite. We're uh, let we're at like nineteen thousand five hundred. So you know we're we're getting there. That's like what two percent to a million, or something like that. Wait, did I forget to claim those? I might have forgot to claim them. Oh well, it's whatever. I think I forgot to claim those red deer. Luckily, none of them were diamonds. That's a troll. Oh, I forgot to add the last troll to my uh, list of trolls. Um, I don't compete with anybody, Braxton. 
The only person I'm in competition with on uh, on YouTube is myself. I don't compare myself to other creators. I just try to better my own content. What's my favorite Ibex? I like the Ronda Ibex the most. The Ronda Ibex and then probably the Greedos are number two for me. Love me some Greedos. Thank you, Chad. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I know, right, Jay? <laughs> Great one aggressive Canada goose. That would be pretty epic. I'm telling you guys, dive bombing geese just coming out of the air straight on dive bombing you with their beaks. That'd be a pretty wild great one. Yeah, I wish they were bigger, Johnny, but I like the way they look still. But I do wish they were bigger. There it is. The troll. So that is our eighth troll of grind number five. Uh, yes, yeah, Ian, I have. I saw his one talking about the Black Bear Great One when it got first announced. Oh, not really, Braxton. Not really. The only, like, friendly competition I've ever done was, uh, I was racing Flinter to get a 200 Whitetail in the Hunter Classic. And I, I somehow ended up winning that. <laughs> he spent, like, 11 years trying to get his, and then I spent, like, three weeks and found it. <laughs> it was pretty wild. One of the rarest things I've ever killed in the Hunter Classic. Actually, it, it definitely is the rarest thing I've ever killed. It was crazy. Once in a lifetime trophy. Literally. Uh, no clue, Bennett. Nobody knows when we'll get great ones. They don't really announce anything uh, relating to them until it's almost time for them to be released. Yeah, Sam, uh, it, it bounced back up late last night. YouTube still hasn't returned the uh, 50 subs that randomly disappeared, so... I don't know what's up with that. I'm assuming in a day or two, they'll probably pop back up. Usually what happens is uh, YouTube will occasionally lose data from a specific time period, and then it'll pop back up later. So my guess is in a couple days we'll see it. Has EW ever explained why they remove species drink times? I get the Springbok, but the rest? Um... They kind of do, but I think most of them... It has to do with trying to reach a more realistic gameplay style. So, like, for Shammy... The, a lot of the complaints that they received about Shammy was that they weren't up in the mountains enough, and that there was too many of them down in the lowlands or around the lakes. And so instead, they just made it so they feed and rest up in the mountaintops. And I guess the whole thought is that they can get their water from the dew on the leaves that they eat. Because they're up higher in the mountains. And as far as, like, turkeys go, I think it's it's people just wanted more realistic turkey hunting. And because they were always in drink zones, it made turkey hunting just a game of shooting them with the 22. And then for, like, upland birds, I think it's because it's just, uh... Upland birds don't really need them to be drinking. But I don't really know, like, the actual reasoning they had behind it, but that's uh, that's the way I see it, at least. Uh, Turkey, thank you for the gifted, dude. Really appreciate it. And uh, congrats to JN. You just got gifted a membership by uh, Spooky Turkey. Enjoy all the member perks. I know, right, Duxton? That one I don't get. 
I don't understand what they were thinking with the mountain goats. That was the weirdest decision ever. And they put them on the weirdest part of the map as well. Makes no sense why they took away the mountain goats drink time. And it also makes no sense why they would put them on the left side of the map away from the biggest mountains in the game. That one I truly do not understand at all. Like most of their decisions, I can kind of see one way or another. Like, okay, this is probably why they did it. That one, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why that was done. Um, yeah, Braxton, I know Didi. Haven't talked to him in a while, but I do know him. There we go. There's a level nine. Lots of shootable stags as well. Jeez. Really starting to pump the numbers of shootable stags back up. Holy. <laughs> Dude, there's so many. Love it. I think we got him vitally. We did. Nice. And I think also, like, I might be partially... I might be a little bit more critical about the SRP changes because it was my favorite map for the longest time. And so, when I see something get changed for the worse, it, it makes me sad. Like, that, that's been my favorite map for years. Or at least, like, top three for the longest time. And to see it just get... Unfortunately, changed for the worse in a lot of... In a lot of ways, especially relating to mountain lions and the mountain goats, it just it, it just hurts the soul, man. It just hurts to see it have all this happen. I think a lot of the changes were good, like the elk changes were amazing. Um, I like the mule deer and the bighorn changes as well. The bison are still in pretty good spots, but there was just a few few things that made the update not as good as I was hoping for. Yeah, exactly, Levi. Like, the goats were great. I think the only thing they should have done is maybe spread out the lakes that they're found at, because they were very condensed. But, like, I don't... Ooh, there we go. There's another level 9. We're finally picking up the 9s again. I uh, know, Braxton, I didn't. I was homeschooled all my life, so didn't really have a chance to play sports. <laughs> There's two of them. Beautiful. So that's three diamonds at this lake now. Love to see it. Nice, Kobe. Yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations, my dude. Nice, bow fishing. Yeah, cowboy. I think there's more than just the elk that were good, but there's definitely a lot of things that uh, just didn't seem right to me. Like I was saying, the uh, the changes to the way bears are spread throughout the map, the fact that they're only in duos now and not... Um, there's no longer like multiple male zones. It's just like a male and a female everywhere you go. Uh, the fact that mountain lions drink at the same time as them. The fact that pronghorn drink in the dark now. Like, there's just a lot of really strange changes along with the really good ones. Where did that legendary go? Did it float? It did. It floated. Okay. So, I guess all three of them are going to be on that side. Hey, Fisher, how's it going? Dude, welcome. Yeah, I think that would have been good, Jayan. I think having Mountain Lion drink after the bears would have been a great move. I also feel like... The Mountain Lions shouldn't be feeding next to the water, either. They shouldn't be resting and feeding near the water, because that interferes with other drink times uh, quite heavily. 
they just make a couple minor changes like that, things will be great again. And I guess that is the bright side to the SRP changes. Most of the things that were wrong with the update can very easily be fixed just by slightly adjusting a few things. There we go. Diamond Red Deer 2, 53, 66. Let's see what these two are. One of them looked really cool, so we'll see. Um, read the read the rules and stuff, Nun. It will give you all it'll give you the rundown on how to accept roles. 266, that's another decent one. Finally racking up the diamonds. Three back to back to back. I think mine was similar, Cobb. I think that's the lowest estimate I've seen. Or I guess the highest low estimate I've seen as well. And this was the cool one. It's kind of like a tighter rack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a really cool one. This is the big rack, and it scores 260. That's actually really awesome. That is such a low score for this rack. That's actually a really cool looking red deer. This might be tax worthy. What do you guys think? Tax it or leave it? Tax it or leave it, guys. Nice, Don. That's going to be a monster. Tax, 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 leave tax, 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 tax. Okay, looks like we're taxing it. Beautiful. You love to see it. That is a gorgeous red deer. Let me get a screenshot of him like this. Because I think this is the lowest scoring big rack I've ever had. I, I clicked screenshot and it froze. O okay, we're good. <laughs> it froze the game for a second. Why would I not tax it? Because I've got 759 red deer diamonds. So in most cases, I don't tax any of the diamonds. Because it's a, it, at this point, it's just a waste of money for me. And I don't have the lodge space. So most of them I leave. How are you managing the herd? Leaving all fours and below, killing only the fives and above. At this point, I have 30 level five and above stags on my map and probably over a hundred that are level four and below. And it massively inflates the amount of level nines I see because of it. Dude, we just got done claiming them and there's more. <laughs> Love to see it. Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting, Johnny. They were doing very good with communication for a while. Like, uh, right after the Rancho release and all of the, like, backlash and stuff that they got from the, the console delays, they started communicating really well and talking about everything that was coming to the game. But then, like, the last two or three months, they've kind of toned back on that and... It's just been really strange to see. Makes me wonder what's going on. What does it take for me to tax a diamond? Uh, for Red Deer, it just has to be different than the average one that I would see. Like, something that scores exceptionally high or low for its rack shape. Or something that's just incredibly wonky and weird and twisted looking. If I get a super twisty looking diamond, then there's a chance that I'll tax that as well. Uh, no, McLaren, I have not got the Great One Bear. I stopped the Great One Bear grind after, like, 2,600 kills, because I, I just wasn't having fun anymore. And for me, I have to be having fun to continue with a grind. I try to only grind for the stuff that I have fun with. Which is actually why I've been doing a lot of lion hunting recently in the videos, is because I've been enjoying the lions. I've been having a lot of fun hunting lions on Verhonga. Same with like elk on Silver Ridge Peaks and of course Red Deer on Tia Alvaroa. Most underwhelming trophy? I don't know actually. I, I've never really thought about what my most underwhelming trophy is.
Thank you, Duxton. I was blown away when I spotted that thing, as you could probably tell. That is easily the craziest multiplayer trophy I've found. Like, I've found a lot of cool trophies in multiplayer before. And I think the Melanistic Pheasant is probably the next best I can think of. Uh, actually, I did find the, the other Albino Lion in multi as well. But yeah, that was like the craziest circumstances. I never expected to find something that crazy during a 60 minute trophy challenge. That was so crazy. Uh, possibly Scott. If I can get Kill Clinton to join me, then I'll probably be streaming Marauders. But, uh, Brober said that he's not going to be able to do anything tonight, so it's all up to whether or not KC is going to stream. If KC plans to stream some Marauders, then I'll be streaming it as well. If not, then... I don't know. I might be able to get my friend to join. If I can get him to join, then I could possibly do it. But, uh, we'll see. Right now, it's kind of up in the air as to whether or not we'll have a second stream today. I also need to get some content ready for tomorrow, so I might have to record instead. Because I currently do not have a video ready. <sighs> Ow, rude. Just trying to jump on a tent here, man. Hey, Kyle, how's it going, man? You're an hour away from your PC. Oh, no, Sam. Rest in peace. I'd totally be down, though. If you want to join us sometime, just let me know. Because I've been heavy into Marauders. I think at this point I'm like level 32 or something like that. Got my bank up to like 600 or 700k. Been uh, doing quite a bit of raiding recently. Been going in for like the he the high end loot pretty much every raid, trying to just build up as much cash as I can so that I can uh, not have to worry about losing gear during streams. And there she is, the star of the show, Mrs. Crow. Just in time for us to not get the great one because we're the, the great one doesn't like us. He doesn't like us Can barely afford ammo. Yeah, it gets it, it starts out pretty rough. It, it does start out very rough I I was barely able to break a hundred K for the longest time um, the turning point for me though, Sam, and I would definitely recommend doing this anytime that you, well, whenever you get the chance, um, get the ability to make lock picks because lock picks are your key to always getting some good loot. If you can find a locked room and then make it out alive, you almost always make at least 30 or 40 K from like the bonds and the coins that you get out of the pouch. And then if you get something like a gold bar, that's an instant 30 K right there. So, like, you can get some great loot using the lockpicks. And then, of course, using the blowtorch on the, on the vault. Gets you crazy loot as well. How do I play and check my chat all at the same time? I've got a second monitor with my chat and my uh, streaming software. So, uh, I've got a monitor to my left with the streaming software and my chat. And then, on my right monitor, I've got the, uh, the game up. And that's how we do it. One, two, three. I see a red deer in front of me. Actually, three red deer. How were you not vitally hit, sir? What a rude dude. Oh no, Sam, that's the worst. Yeah, I've had that happen. Um, I had a couple times where I got boarded and it didn't tell me that I got breached. So that was, uh, that was unfortunate. I know you're paying there. 
Yeah, Turkey, we went on a spending spree. I dropped like 400k on uh, on all the ammo. That way we don't have to go replenish the ammo anytime soon. Though, knowing me, I'll probably continue topping it off every time we make a little bit. Uh, sadly, no Cameron. Uh, Marauders is a PC-only game. As of now, it's on Steam Early Access. Hard to say, but they may put it on other platforms eventually. That's the 300? It is. This is the 300 Magnum. How's it feel having almost 200 people watching you and enjoying your channel and knowing you are making 200 people happy? We got 200 people in here right now? I haven't looked at the, uh, the stream numbers recently. That's crazy. I haven't... Jeez, we haven't had almost 200 people for a Red Deer stream in a while. Happy to see you guys are enjoying it. But I love it, Braxton. This is, uh... Something that I've wanted to do ever since I was little. Ever since I was like 14, I always wanted to be able to uh, do YouTube and be able to share my adventures with people in the games that I enjoy playing. Truly is amazing. Any hotspots for Red Deer on this map? Um... Let me think. There, there's a lot of places that have tons of red deer on Tiawaroa. Uh, it's going to be way different for you than it is for me because I've grinded my map a lot, so things have moved constantly. But these four lakes over here, the Ratanui Lakes and the Pukimaro Lakes, amazing. They are incredible. The river right here is really good at these two locations. And then they can also be at all of the lakes on the left side. If you check those areas, you should find all of your red deer. Where did the rest of these go? I know we shot more than one. No organs. Okay. And that doesn't look vital either. Yeah, definitely not vital. All right. So we're not going to worry about those. We'll go claim these instead. How long has it took to get 19k red deer kills? Uh, ever since the great one red deer released. Now, it's hard for me to gauge the exact time because I've took breaks in between grinds. I got my first great one red deer 3,000 kills in one week. I was playing 10 hours a day at that time. 10 hours a day for, I think, 7 or 8 days. I know I was getting like 500 kills a day. That would have brought us to... No, that would have been like 600. Yeah, that would have been like 600 then. So we did 600... Or not 600, what am I saying? It would have been 6 days of 500 kills a piece. To get our first great one, so yeah, we did like 3,000 kills in 6 days. Then I took quite a big break from grinding. And then, uh... Once they updated... Tiawaroa to change the locations of all of the animals and change their zone times and stuff like that. That's when I got back into the grind heavily. And I've been grinding pretty much non-stop ever since then. Alright, main menu. Welcome back, Ben. Hundred and eighty kills, two rares, one diamond. Nice, Kobe, nice. That's not bad. The fact that you have two rares and 180 kills is really good, actually. That is a very good uh rare to kill ratio. Way luckier than I've been with the rares. Little troll there. Oh, whoa, whoa. Calm down with that, sir. We're not teleporting. 
I go to the main menu to force all the animals out of their spook state and get them back to their zones. Whenever you go to the main menu, a lot of times it will take all the animals out of their spooked state and put them back to calm. And if they've moved out of their zones, it'll put them back into the zone. So that's why I go to the main menu quite often. Because it's the fastest way to get animals to go back to their zone. Which makes it so I can do multiple runs before needing to do a time reset. Yeah, it kind of is, seeing. Although, from what I understand, uh, I've been told by a few different people in the comments that uh, the 350 is a larger caliber than the 338, but it's not as strong. And the reason for that is because it's got less powder behind it. So, the 338 ends up being more powerful because of the uh, much larger amount of power behind the bullet. Or powder behind the bullet, I mean. Even though the 350 has a bigger projectile. So it seems that that's why it's a little bit weaker than the 338. Well, um, okay, so for those of you that didn't know, and this is a good opportunity to mention this, but, uh, when, after you've killed a few animals, they always respawn, Levi, uh, like, let's say, one thing that I've noticed if, is if I just kill one animal, I definitely don't get the respawn from it, because I've tested that in the past, and killing one animal does not get the respawns to show up. However, if you kill just, like, three or four animals, your respawns will happen, and the reason they don't show up sometimes is because they're still traveling. That's something that's really interesting, too. Going to the main menu, uh, resetting time, restarting your game, none of that affects the speed at which respawns will get back to their zone. They still have to continue walking back to the zone from their spawn point. And nothing that you do can speed that up from what I've seen. So the respawns, you can't force them to get there quicker. So you will see a lot of times where it takes maybe two or three in-game hours for the respawns to actually get all the way back to their zones. And so in, in the time that you're waiting for them, you'll only see the ones that you haven't shot showing up. And then once you kill those, eventually you'll see your previous wave of respawns get back to their zones after they've uh, finished their walk to it. And then the ones that you're missing then will be the ones that you had just previously shot. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. It, it sounded confusing on my end, so hopefully it was understandable. Uh, you don't have to worry about zone count for a grind, Sarah. Zone count will not affect your grind. It's more of a matter of just knowing where the animals can be and hunting them. I personally don't pay attention to zone count whenever I grind. Yeah, no problem, Levi. Hopefully that'll help, because for the longest time, I thought that respawns were broken, and then I realized, like, some of them are just late. They sometimes just don't show up as fast as you would hope that they would. And one of the things that really, like, made me realize this was one day I was having trouble getting any of my respawns to show up for Red Deer. Like, they wouldn't show up clear till the end of their drink time. It would be just like the last hour where they would actually arrive. But then I reset the time, right? And I went to a couple of the zones that I hadn't been hunting. Because none of those would have been respawns. Those would have been ones that had already been there. And I noticed that they were immediately there after a time reset or a main menu. So... It seems like the respawns are the ones that don't end up at the zones fast, and then the ones that you haven't shot in a long time, they get there immediately. And so pretty much every time that I do a time reset, if I see some stags there immediately after the time reset, I know those are ones that I missed on my last couple runs.
What is troll rack for a level nine stag? Um, I'd have to show you. Uh, in fact, I gotta add a troll to the troll count because we just got one. But uh, the troll rack is essentially a rack that can never make diamond. If it's uh, the troll level nine rack, it's basically the same as the big level eights. Oh, Sam, I got to tell you this real quick because this was the most this is the most insane luck I've had on uh, Pokemon Go in a while. So uh, I've been doing some Giratina raids, right? I've done 22 of them, I believe. 22 Giratina raids. How many shinies do you think I've had in 22? Oh, no worries, Turkey. Sorry to hear that, Scott. Hopefully the watch in the stream will help you feel better a little bit. Zero? You would be uh, quite wrong. I've had four. Four shinies in 22. That is the highest amount of shinies I've ever got for uh, legendary raids. Like that, that is some absurd numbers. It's a one in 20 shiny odds. And I've got four in 22. Or 23 or whatever it was. Absolutely absurd luck. Why couldn't it have been like this for Yveltal? I had to I had to do 39 Yveltal raids just to get one shiny. Where was this luck when I had the Yveltal raids going? <laughs> Zero and one might hop in a couple tonight. Yeah, dude. Giratina's been given the shiny luck. At least for me. Unfortunately, Bree hasn't been finding any shinies for uh, for Giratina yet. So that's unfortunate, but at least I've got like an abundance of extra ones that I could trade her. Uh, no, Cash, I haven't. I really don't like making guides until I'm very far into the grind, and I've just been taking my time with the elk grind, you know, having fun with it. Not trying to push it as far as I do the red deer. So once I get to a point where I feel like we're starting to get deep into the grind, that's when we will start, uh... That's when we'll start doing a guide for the elk. Uh, yeah, Logan, I do. I open, uh, Pokemon cards quite often. I actually used to do uh, opening videos here on the channel. <gasps> or not videos, but I do uh, Pokemon live streams. Ma'am. Okay. Yeah, okay. If, if you'd done that one more time, it would have been all over. Such a rude red deer. Um, I didn't really start doing YouTube seriously until like two and a half years ago. I did it off and on when I was like 14. Clear up till I was like 16 or 17. But it wasn't ever like serious stuff. It was just like for fun. I would just randomly post stuff that I wanted to post with my friends. Never really uh, had anything take off back then. Because I wasn't really putting in like uh, the effort needed to turn a channel into something. But then like uh, two and a half years ago whenever... Whenever the pandemic started, I decided to get back into it because I just had infinite amounts of free time. And I was like, man, if I'm going to make this dream a reality, I might as well do it now while I don't have anything else going on. That way I can dedicate a ton of time into streaming and recording and stuff like that. And it, it somehow worked out. And now we're where we are now. I uh, know all of my old content is privated. I took down all of the uh all the stuff that I had done back then. Cuz there was some stuff back then that showed like the town that I grew up in and things like that and obviously I I didn't want that on the channel anymore. So I don't have any of that up anymore. Oh, 
Oh, really, Pepsi? <laughs> Sorry, maybe I should have meant maybe I should have mentioned it a little bit sooner. But yeah, none, none of those videos are on the channel anymore. I think the oldest one on the channel is from like four or five years ago when I did a like Twitch clip montage of all of my Call of the Wild clips. Uh, that that one's actually got my first ever diamond in it as well. My first ever diamond was a red deer on uh, Parque Fernando. And then also, uh, what's it called? A Leucistic Cape Buffalo in that as well. Only time I've ever seen one, and of course it was before lodges were a thing. Hey, Southern Girl, how's it going? Glad you could make it. Oh yeah, Turkey, that's right. Yeah, for a while I was doing, um... For a while, I was doing uh, the Russian Fishing 4 stuff. That was back when Russian Fishing 4 just came out. And a lot of people didn't know how to get the carp to bite, so I made a video on it. And I remember back then, I watched a lot of uh, content from uh, KP Shimino. And he actually shouted me out because of that video. Because he watched it and... That was how he found out about how to do the carp fishing as well. And so he gave me a shout out. And so I did a few more like a uh, Russian fishing four videos and stuff and eventually just didn't have the time to continue making them. But then like I said when the when the pandemic hit, I had an infinite amount of free time and decided to start it back up. And I made the promise to myself that I would not stop until until the channel actually became something that I could do consistently and just make the make a bunch of content for everybody to enjoy. Like I whenever I started it back up, I wanted to make it become something because I had had the dream of doing YouTube for so long in my life that I just sat down and I was like, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to make it happen. And then thanks to all of you that decided to subscribe to the channel and other people in the uh, community that helped me out. Thanks to, say, thanks to them and thanks to you guys and the fact that I wanted to truly stick to it and push forward this time. Thanks to all of that. We're now where we are now. I remember back when I first started for a few months, I was streaming to like three or four people on Twitch. And then whenever the great one, whenever the Easter egg hunt for the great one started happening on the, uh, the beta servers for Call of the Wild, and then uh, I started doing content on that. I did uh, some hunts for white-tailed deer and found like a couple really big diamonds. That was the first couple of videos where I actually saw an increase in like uh, people that were watching. And then whenever the great one was discovered in the in that uh, Easter egg beta, I made a video on it immediately when the news was found out, talking about what it was and. When I did that, Flinter shared that video, and that was kind of what kickstarted things up. Th thanks to Flinter, that view took, or that not view, that video took off more than I ever would have expected it to. At the time, it, it had like 2,000 views in the first couple days, and back then, that was crazy numbers for me. I was so shocked. And I remember I, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, Flinter shared my video. What? That's crazy. And then after that, I had a consistent 300 viewers on every video, and it just uh, slowly climbed up from there. The more that we uh, continued making content on the channel and playing. And now, here we are two and a half years later, almost to 70,000 subs. I, I still just can't, <laughs> it still just doesn't feel real. It really doesn't. Like, it, it never, I never thought that I would ever be at this point. Never did. 
It's just so crazy. First rare was the Melanus Ikudu. Yeah, that was before I like really stuck to YouTube as well. I think that was that was one of the just random videos I uploaded. Back when I just used to occasionally upload random stuff to the channel. Thank you, Forgotten. I appreciate that, dude. He is, Levi. He really is. He's such a nice dude as well. Like, uh, Flinter's helped me out quite a bit over the years. I'd like to start doing a couple more collaborations with him because I really do uh, think that whenever we've done collabs in the past, it turned out to be very good content. And a lot of people really loved it, but uh, Flinter really doesn't do too many collaborations. I don't either, to be fair. But I'd love to be able to do some more with him in the future because it, it's always been a fun time. And it always produced some hilarious moments as well. Thank you, C, and I appreciate that, dude. Best map for the Red Deer, great one. Definitely Tiabaroa. The map that we're currently playing is insane for them. I have got all of my 19,500 kills on this map. I know, right, Sam? It's crazy how things work out. It's insane how things work out sometimes. And I believe you were actually the first person to ever buy a piece of Scarecrow merch, too. Or one of the first people, at least. To this day, I think you're the only person that owns the Scarecrow, uh, like, uh, running pants. Which is crazy. I had, unfortunately, I had to cancel the, uh, my Streamlabs... Like, Prime membership, because, like, I for some reason I just can't stream with Streamlabs. It causes too many issues with performance. So, I'll have to figure out how to get some more, uh, some more merch stuff up, because I, I've had a lot of people asking about it recently, and... Unfortunately, I just don't have any way to do it at the moment. I need to figure out who I should be, um... You know, doing all the merch through. Like, what, what company I should be doing it through. I know, I know I've heard a lot of good stuff about Teespring. Maybe I'll end up doing it through there, but I need to, like, actually get some some good designs going. Revamp some of the old designs to make them nicer and more, like, clean looking. Because a lot of that stuff that I made back then was just kind of quickly slapped together. I spent, like, one day making all of it. And... At the time, it was good enough. But I'd like to... I'd like to make the next... Uh, merch lineup a bit better. I want to make it higher quality. I have no idea when that'll happen, as it's difficult to find free time as is, but hopefully one of these days we can get some more up and it'll be better quality. The Solo Dodo shirt? Yeah, we do have a lot of, like, emotes that could be made into shirts. That's true. We do. You know, I'll have to talk to Kyla and see how she did Flinter shirts, like what they did all of those through. Because those and those turned out really well. I'm pretty sure they did them through Teespring. I'll have to find out though, because I like to I like the way his merch turned out. I'll have to figure out what they did there. Uh, not sure, Scott. We're probably going to do one more run. I usually try to end around 5. That way, if I do a second stream, I'll have a little bit of time in between them. So we'll do one more quick run through all these zones. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hacks Pants would be amazing. <laughs> that would actually be sick. That would be sick. Hey, Hubba, how's it going?
How close do I think I am to the great one? I don't think we're super close. We probably got a ways to go. It's only been about, I'd say, probably 600 since the last great one. I'd say we're roughly 600 kills into this grind. Give or take a few. <laughs> I don't even know if I can do that. I don't even know if I can make that. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, though. That would be hilarious. <laughs> you saw a solo dough, though, on your drive to work this morning? Nice, Sam. Nice, CJ. That's pretty good, dude. It's been a while seeing. I, I've seen you around in the chat for quite a long time at this point. I feel like you've been around for a while. Top three spots of Red Deer? I, I, I don't know. I don't even know if I can answer that because they're going to be different from map to map. I can show you my th top three spots, but it's definitely not going to be the same for everybody else. For me, it's these three zones here. This lake, this river zone, and this lake. But it's going to vary from person to person because red deer do move around when you hunt them. And I've hunted mine so heavily that they've moved around the map so much. So my map isn't going to be anything like what a lot of people will see. My map is quite quite far into the grind. Okay, that's all that's there is just that seven. Actually, we might need to back up a little bit. I noticed some of them don't spawn in until we back up more. Some of them don't render in until we get further back here. Uh, not this time, though. All right, let's go check this lake. Oh, I am? No, you never told me. I just assumed it was seeing. You never told me I was pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> uh, wait, how's it pronounced? Is it like, is it like Cayenne? Or like Can? Or Chian? It could be Chian, actually. How's it pronounced? <laughs> I'm very curious now. <laughs> Oof, dropped it. Ooh, ah. It's only a six, but it's still a piebald. There we go, guys. We found a piebald. What a way to end the day. Oh, Kian got you. Oh, that makes sense. I feel like you actually I feel like you have told me that. Hey, bro, how's it going, dude? How you been? I haven't been able to look at a uh, Discord. Are you are you down to do anything tonight? Or did I look at Discord? I forgot. All right, let's try to get it down. Let's get this level 6 Pieball on the or we can stack it. Do you guys want to stack it? Should we just leave him here? Should we leave this as our pet until we find another great one? What do you guys think? Shoot it or leave it? If we shoot it, it goes in the lodge. If we leave it, we get to look at it every time we hunt. Because when you think about it, if we never shoot it, he's always there for us. We always get to say hi to him every time we stream. Seeing a lot of leave it. Okay, I guess we're leaving him. He's only level six anyway, so we'll just leave him here. Let's get all of these other ones down, though. Imagine he would have jumped in front of the shot. I got an idea, guys. How about we name him 
since since we had Gerald on the one grind, and then we had uh, Gertie on the other one, let's name this one Geraldo the second. I like it, Geraldo the second. Oh, he turned. No, that's just rude. Would have been a good shot, but he turned as I shot. He'll die. One of these days. Yes, rest in peace, Gerald. Rest in peace, Gerald. Forever in our lodge. And our hearts. <laughs> I like it, Sam. <laughs> Perfect. Tis fitting for him. I wonder how many we've killed today. I feel like we've killed close to 200 red deer today. I think today's been a very good day for red deer. It, it seems like we've been hitting higher numbers in the last couple streams, so... I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say it probably has been about 200 red deer today. Definitely seems like it. Definitely, Kian. Definitely. They would have been best buddies. Later, turkey. Alright. That is going to be it for us today, guys. I hope you all had a lot of fun with this stream. I certainly did. This has been a very, uh, very awesome stream. Very fun as well. Lots of action. We even got a piebald to spawn last second. And a few diamonds. It's been overall a good day, I think. Decent chance we might do a second stream tonight. Uh, not exactly 100% sure on that yet, but it's possible. But anyway, until uh, the next stream, I hope you all enjoyed this one, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!